Spotlight Network is a student-led newscast here on the campus of Howard University. It felt like a small TV news station. I was studying broadcast journalism at the time and I was really looking for an outlet that gave me a chance to be creative and get my hands dirty right away. Spotlight Network gave me the opportunity to start practicing and learning the things that I needed to learn for post-grad and it was really helpful. So I started in Harrisonburg, Virginia, and then I spent 10 months there uh, just working, being a one-man band, which means I was doing what you did at Spotlight Network, which is shooting your own stuff, writing your own stuff, producing your own stuff, editing your own stuff. Then I moved on to Louisville, Kentucky, spent uh, two years and six months there as a general assignment reporter also, and now I'm back in the district. I recently won another Emmy. I have now three Emmy Awards. So many people who have interacted with Spotlight Network are now contributing to newsrooms all across the country. In order to help to promote diverse newsrooms, I think the best way to do that is to donate to Spotlight Network and WHUT. This is Annalisa Gale. Support WHUT, your stories, your station. PBS American Portrait is a platform where people can go to in order to share their experiences. So join in. Go to pbs.org slash American Portrait. On the next article, a Syrian migration painting series in the works of Jacob Lawrence, Find Common Ground. DMV poets celebrate National Poetry Month. My father's vocabulary is quite extensive, but he still can't find the words for I love you. Shrines shine in the community, improv theater on police brutality, and hot music that heals. Artico, art in your community. Thursday, April 15th at 8.30 p.m. on WHUT. Hi, I'm Sherry Blunt Gray a WHUT Community Advisory Board member. I'm also a Howard University grad and a former PBS employee. So I have a double investment in making sure this station thrives. WHUT is the full package. It offers national and international news and programs of local interest. And you don't need cable to watch it. I'm also impressed with WHUT's outreach in DC's wards seven and eight, and its commitment to decrease the education gap for our low-income children. Bottom line, WHUT is a phenomenal community resource. There is something for everyone. And if you're watching right now, you already know this. So please, help us today with a donation. Go online or call the number on your screen. Thank you. Hello, I'm Destiny McDaniel, the Education and Outreach Intern at WHUT, and I'd like to welcome you all to this OV screening of Philly DA. This documentary follows the first term of Philadelphia's District Attorney, Larry Krasner, and his fight to upend the criminal justice system from the inside out. At the end of the film, we'll have a great discussion with our panel of experts, and they are Joshua Rovner, a Senior Advocacy Associate at the Sentencing Project, where he manages a portfolio of juvenile justice issues. He is an expert in child and adolescent well-being, his work focusing on juvenile development issues. Next, we have Dr. Shamika Stanford, a professor in Howard University's Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, and the juvenile forensic speech language pathologist. She is the first and only juvenile forensic SLP in the U.S. Last but not least, we have Dr. Stanley Andrews, an endocrinologist scientist and assistant professor at the Howard University College of Medicine, as well as an affiliate at the Georgetown University Medical Center. He is also the executive director of the organization From Prison Cells to PhD. 
And now we have our panel facilitator for tonight, Dr. Bahia Muhammad, an assistant professor of criminology in the Department of Sociology and Anthropology at Howard University. Her particular area of expertise relates to the experiences of children of incarcerated parents. So everyone sit back and enjoy, and we'll see you at the end of the movie. Hi, and welcome to Ovi. You're probably asking yourself, what is Ovi? Ovi is an online platform that allows you to watch a video and participate in a chat by sharing your thoughts and feelings with other members of the audience. It's like a movie theater where you can interact with the community around you. You can share resources, ideas, and even talk to panelists and experts in the chat window. That's because Ovi is about quality video and quality conversation. We all have something to share, and Ovi is a great place to do it. So how does it work? As you're watching something, if you have a feeling you'd like to express, just click the little icons that are down here below the video screen and you can share your feelings that way. You can also type in your thoughts in the chat section on your right. And during the screening, the moderator may occasionally throw in a couple polling questions. You can participate in those by clicking the link in the chat window. You can even ask your friends to join you in the screening room by clicking the Facebook and Twitter icons below the video screen. Once the screening's over, the moderator usually leaves the chat open for a little bit so you can share any additional thoughts you have. And don't forget to RSVP to an upcoming Ovi. You can always find listings on our website at ovi.itvs.org. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoy this Ovi screening and let us know what you think. We'd love to hear your feedback.